Well, hello out there, everyone at Avon Land. Lynn Huber here. And hey, I'm Richard. Richard, and today is the 23rd of September, <clears throat> and today is our Ask Me Anything, Ask Us Anything um, Facebook Live. So we're here for you. We want to know what questions you have, what we can answer for you. If you're here, comment, let us know you're here. And uh, I can see that there's people here. And... So, you know, there's everybody, everybody's at different levels in their business. And some people, you know, need help with getting started. Some people have questions about different things. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what kind of questions you have. Sherry is here. Hello, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. So, keep, <coughs> come on, you guys. Give me your questions. I looked in our Facebook page, and I didn't see any there. So... I'll tell you what, we're going to go over some review while we're waiting for questions. So let me share my screen. Let me do this. Let me share my screen like this. Perfect. Okay, so now you're seeing my blog. <clears throat> so hi, Deb. Welcome from Illinois. Oh, hi, Deb. Excited to see you guys. So I'm going to go to um, automate. I don't know. Maybe you're getting sick of hearing me say this, but you know what? Systems in your Avon business are so critical. <clears throat> Systems can help you do so many things and help you grow your business, whether it's and, – and it doesn't even matter who you are because maybe you're really shy. Maybe you're afraid to talk to people, and maybe you're afraid to do the follow-up calls, and you're afraid to do you know all that because you're just kind of – you're just new or you're just not comfortable talking to people. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Hey, Tracy. Um, so systems <clears throat> are huge because a system can help you overcome all of that. A system can help you do those things that you're afraid to do, like follow up with your customers before you place your order, you know, or, or all of these things. That, but even if you're not shy, a system can help you. I don't want to say automate because it's not automatic. You have to like do it every campaign, but it's like more of a already set up. You click the button and you send. And so things get done every campaign like clockwork and there's no hit and miss because the thing that's going to hurt your business the worst is not getting a brochure to everybody. And then second off is not following up with everybody. Those things are the most important things to grow in your business. And so if you use a system to do that, that's what's going to help you. So I um, want to kind of walk through, here's some tools that we use. So what I did, just so you know, is I went to my onlinebeautybiz.com and I went down here to the search. And if you're on the <clears throat> phone, the search will be at the very bottom after about six posts or something, it'll be at the very <clears throat> bottom. And I searched for automate. And um, but you can search for whatever you have questions on. And so I search for automate, how to automate your follow-ups. And so, you know, this talks about when Richard and I first started, we were both working like 70 hours a week in our job. And I was commuting an hour and a half each way to and from work. We didn't have the time to do this. You know, we couldn't knock on doors at, you know, nine at 11 o'clock at night. And we just didn't have the time to do this. And so we had to find a way to make things easier so that we would be, have the little bit of time that we had to be able to grow our business. We couldn't spend, like Richard spent his entire day off passing out brochures to our customers. And so we started bulk mailing and that saved up that whole day for him so he could do other things. Well, nowadays we don't bulk mail anymore. Nowadays we use a program called Campaign Mailer to get brochures to every single customer, whether they are across town or in another state or a block away from me. It doesn't matter. All of my customers go on campaign mailer. And I'll tell you why. Because, yeah, I can put a brochure in their order when they place an order, and I can stick a brochure in the bag. Then I have to spend the time to figure out who ordered and who didn't and who I got a brochure to and who I didn't. And when I use campaign mailer, there's no question. Everybody gets a brochure every campaign. So let me click on this and show you how this works. Hi, Tiffany. Welcome. Hi, Lily. Hey, Good Tiffany. to see you. Hey, Lily. Hi. Good to see you. This is, we're talking about systems now, but this is still a Q&A. So if you have questions, put them in the comments. And then as I see them, I'll, I'll come back to them. But so Campaign Mailer, 
is um, it's just a way that I make sure I get a brochure to every single customer. And if you go here, it's just campaign-mailer.com, and there's a link on my how to automate um, blog. But some people have told me, well, I'm not big enough to do this. And you know what? Look at this. This is the pricing. You can mail one brochure for $1.49. There's no minimum. So you could just do one to nine brochures at $1.49. The more you do, the less they are. So there is no such thing as being too little. Your business isn't big enough yet. Because if you take a brochure and you go to the post office and you mail it, it will cost you more than $2.50. And you have to pay for the brochure. With Campaign Mailer, you don't even have to buy the brochure. They supply it. It's included mm -hmm. in that $1.49. You just tell them what you want on the label. They print it for you. They put the label on your brochure, and they mail it. <clears throat> and um, so this is just a great way to get customers, every single customer brochure. And if somebody is an online customer, I still get them brochures. I, I want my online customers, because here's the thing. It's hard to get them to come back. You want to get them to come back to your store more and more and more, right? So the way you do that is by mailing them a brochure. They get the brochure in the mail. They look at it and they go, oh, I want that and I want that. And then they go online and they order it. So it just keeps those repeat sales. It's, to me, the most cost-effective way to do that. So, um, so that's the one first thing I do is I send a brochure by mail to every single customer. And you know what's cool? In Campaign Mailer, I'm not going to take you in because my customer list is in there, but you literally have, you go in the campaign mailer and your list is right there of everybody. And I add and delete all throughout, you know, every day. So if I add somebody or if I delete somebody, I just do it right then. And so when it comes time for the schedule to mail my brochures, I just go into campaign mm -hmm. mailer, say, yes, mail everybody a brochure, um, change the label to say what I want. I usually put the campaign dates so that it's effective online on my online brochure, I mean on my on my label, and then I click send and I pay. And it's just that simple. So it takes like three minutes to, to do this. And look at all the time I'm saving. I don't have to go drive around town, spin the gas, deliver brochures, or even even just taking the time to figure out who I gave one to and who I didn't. This way everybody gets one. Can I, can I point out one thing real quick is she's talking about mailing it. We just mail the main brochure. She can go into this one. They have, Avon has a lot of other brochures, but we just mail the main brochure because it has almost everything that you need in there. Yeah, I don't bother with the mm -hmm. others. And they can look at those online. Mm -hmm. So the majority of our, I mean, all of our products are in the main brochure. You know, if they want to see outlet products, I guess they can go online because I don't, I don't give out outlet books. But that's a whole different su subject. So getting back here, we've now we've mailed a brochure out to everybody. We, um, oh, here's a copy of my label. This is what my label looks like. And you would just go into Campaign Miller and change it um, with the dates. They buy the brochures and they do everything for you. So going back, okay, so we've mailed our brochures and now I follow, I automate my follow-up reminders. Hi, Crayola. Good to see you. Hey, Crayola. Um, Deb, Hi. what's your, let me go here. Deb, what's your criteria for <coughs> deleting? So the way I do it, and everybody's different, but you know you can only um, you can only spend so much, right? You don't want to spend a fortune. You don't want to keep mailing brochures to people who aren't buying. So basically, if I pick them up as a lead at a show, they filled out a form. What I do is I have them. I do the drawing slips. I have them fill out a form. You know, I say, "Would you like an Avon brochure?" And if they say yes, this is like when I'm doing an event. And um, and they say yes, and they go, well, I mail my brochures. Would you like to get on my mailing list? So they fill out the form, and I add them to Campaign Mailer right away, as well as all my other follow-up tools that we're going to talk about. If they don't place an order in three months, I take them off of my Campaign Mailer. If they're a customer and they have placed an order, then I give them four months. If they haven't placed an order in four months, I take them off. And the funny thing is, you know what happens the minute I take them off? I bet Richard could tell you. Yeah, yeah, they place an order. Yeah, as soon as you take them off your list, they place an order. Yeah. So it's almost like I feel like I should not do a, a mailing one campaign, and maybe I'll get a whole bunch of orders. <laughs> but that's just how it works. So that's how I do it. And I'll go through the beginning of every month, and I'll go through my campaign mailer list. I just pull it up. It's like a little spreadsheet that you're looking at on campaign mailer. And I just pull it up, and I see you know, who, who placed an order in the last three to four months and who hasn't. And then during the holidays, I might give them a little bit longer, depending on how much I'm spending. Because, again, we all have budgets, and I'm not in, in business to get brochures to everybody in the world who isn't placing orders with me. So... 
Um, Deb, thank you. Let's see. Thank you. Great, I, great criteria. Appreciate your insight. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate that. Um, Crayola asks, do we have Avon vehicle stickers to help advertise? Yes, we do. We do. If you go to youravon.com, in fact, I can show you that. <clears throat> so you go to youravon.com and you log in. And on the main page, and if you ever know, don't know how to get to the main page, just click on your Avon 2.0 and that will take you back to the main page. Scroll all the way down to Avon Advantage. So click on Avon Advantage. And then you're going to go to Town and Country and Shop Now. And Town and Country has car magnets, they have signs, they have banners. They have, looks like lipstick, caddies, t-shirts, pretty much everything you could need. So that's on your on Avon Advantage at the bottom of your first page. Go to town and country. So I hope that answers your question, Let, let me just say one thing. If you order the, the uh, car magnet, just a word of caution. Don't use it if you're going to drive a long distance on the freeway. Sometimes they'll get wind underneath them. They'll pick them they'll pluck them right off, and then you'll lose your magnet. So they're great for using when you're driving around town. Okay, so, um, okay, next up, Tracy. I saw on Campaign Mailer they are books ahead of where I am. Okay, the reason for that, Tracy, <clears throat> is actually everybody's on the same book you are, so nobody's on different campaigns. We're all on the same campaign. But the reason why Campaign Mailer is way ahead is because they bulk mail, and bulk mail takes an average of two weeks. And keep in mind, they're in Texas, so they have to mail all over the country, and it can take up to two weeks for that brochure to get to you. But from Campaign Mailer, let me go in again. Mm -hmm. If you look at the schedule, you can decide when you want it mailed. And if you don't want to mail that early, so for campaign, like for instance, we're in campaign 21 right now. So for campaign 22, you could wait until the very end and do the September 10th, which is already passed. So like for campaign 23, you could do the September 24th, the F mailer which is the last chance and you just have to kind of play with it a little bit to figure out which one works the best for you but um so that's you know they are ahead but keep in mind they are bulk mailing even mm -hmm. when i bulk mailed myself when we bought a permit from the post office and we put the brochures in envelopes and we mailed them it still took two weeks sometimes we were in california and sometimes people our customers that were in florida it even took a little bit longer so um Okay, so Crayola says, thank you. Thanks, Crayola. And then Tracy says, and move them every month. Mine got stuck on my car. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's probably a good tip. Uh, so yeah. you're talking about the magnets. The so magnet. if you have them on your car, be sure to move them around. <laughs> okay, so let's go back. So um, the next thing we want to do is we want to automate your follow-ups. So some of the things I do is I do, I use a service called Dial My Calls. Well, the first thing I do is I figure out who on my customer list has cell phones, which is 90% of them, and who has home phones. So if they have a cell phone, I text them like three days before my order goes in. Actually, I do it two days before, but two to three days. And um, if, it's a, if it's a home phone, then I send them a pre-recorded voice message. So I use Dial My Calls for the voice message and it's just a service that you, um, they have a monthly plan and I don't suggest starting, I don't suggest signing up for that. I would just pay for the call because they're like four cents a call. So you load money in, you load like a hundred points or whatever and, and $20 or whatever and it will last you quite a while. And so it's a 30 second call, you know, just, hey, this is Lynn, your Avon lady. Just a quick reminder, my order's going in on Wednesday. If there's anything you want, please let me know by tomorrow. That's it. And then my phone number is, and thanks, have a great day. And that's it. They get that pre-recorded message. They answer their phone. They hear me. And then they hang up and they either call me or send me an email or whatever they want to do and give me their order. Or they ignore me because maybe they don't have an order. But it's a way of reminding them every campaign. You may want to review the question. That's about campaign mailer, I think. Yeah, so Tracy, Tracy, <clears throat> Tracy says, if I wanted to start today, which would I pick? Well, you know, you'd pick whatever the next... So let's see, schedule. <clears throat> What's the, so yeah, we are, schedule. it's like already September 20, 
September 24th is, is tomorrow. So actually, if you wanted to mail campaign 22 brochures, you could do it. If you get, if you do it by tomorrow, you could get 22 brochures out. Campaign 23 is the next campaign. Um, depending on where you're at, to be honest with you, I mail mine on the on the C Miller Middle Thursday. So I'm on September 27th. I'm going to be ordering my campaign 23 brochures. Yeah, we mail our 22s on the 13th. Right, we mail our 22s on the 13th. And the, the campaign's 13th. valid through October 4th. Well, I don't have. Let me, I, I let believe, me grab I my schedule really quick. I believe 22 okay. starts online. So campaign 22 is online from October 2nd through October 15th. So if you mailed it on September 27th, and let's just say it takes one, two. Well, you know, it depends on where they're at in the country, too. But let's just say, worst case scenario, it takes two weeks for them to get them. They'll get them on October 11th, which gives them about five days before the campaign ends. So um, that's 23, though. Yeah, that, oh, that's 23. You're right. 23. 23 doesn't even start till the 16th. So if you mail them on the 27th of September, they would get there probably around um, the 10th or the 11th of October. So just yeah. before it starts. Yeah, just before it starts to look. So and it's that's just, you know, I'm sorry, it's just a trial and error. You have to figure out. We originally, we, we place our order on the very first yeah. day of the campaign. That's the difference. So I, my campaign, <laughs> let's just say, for example, my campaign 21 started on 9-18. I placed the order on the 19th, the first day of the campaign. And, um, and so I'm working on 22 already. But the website is on campaign 21 until we get to 10-2. So I put the website dates on my label and um if they want to if they want to order they just call me then it's not such a big deal they're getting my reminders so they know when when my order is going in yeah the, give, give them the reason why 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 we order the first day i mean we've done it before we've always done it because we used to be what's called the trendsetter not to confuse it but we always order the beginning of the campaign and the reason for that is it i think everybody should start getting in the habit especially through the holidays of ordering of the first week of the campaign uh, to, to help avoid shorts. Yeah, because especially getting <clears> in the holidays, we're going to have a lot of back orders and shorts. Mm -hmm. It's just the nature of the game. It doesn't matter if you're Avon or Kmart or Walmart. They run out of products just like we do. So it is good to order early and get your orders in. And you can always place a second order if you need to yeah. in a campaign. <clears throat> OK, so going back to my follow-ups. Let me make sure I got okay. So going back to my follow-up. So um, here's here's my little message that I say, and I keep it at thirty <laughs> seconds. So it only costs me I I think it's four cents, but I'm not sure per call. And then I use text messages. So um, I dial my calls also has text messaging service, but I don't use them for that because one thing I learned the hard way was that when you text your customers and say your order's coming in. A lot of times they respond. They go, oh, okay, order me this, this, and this on the text. With Dial My Calls, you have to pay like $30 a month in order to get those return texts. They don't, otherwise, you don't know they're there. With Text Magic, which is the company I use for my texts, I just send a quick text. Hey, this is Lynn with Avon. Quick reminder, campaign, da -da -da, my order goes in Wednesday. If I can order anything for you, let me know by tomorrow. Have a great day. And then if they respond, it's like four cents a text. To send these out and same thing with text magic I would just pay for the text so you know load money onto your account and then you just use your balance till it's gone and you load more on but um, if they respond you pay the four cents for their response but you get their response it's not like you have to pay $30 so um, that's why I use text magic so I want those responses also text magic has a um, let me see if I have a picture of that in here has a actual app on you put on your phone and you can actually chat just like you can with a message on your phone let me see yeah see so here's the picture so this is the text magic app but you actually can have an ongoing conversation now obviously you're paying for each one of those texts so you don't want it going on too long but um, if your customer responds, then you at least want to be able to say, thanks for your order, your total is, blah, 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 we'll have it by this day. Have a great day, you know? So that, that way they, they feel taken care of. You got the order. You didn't lose it because that's the one thing I don't like about 
about um, the dial mic calls is you don't get those. So anyway, there you go. That's that. Do, do you have a, a place in there where you say how to diff, how to find out if it's a, a, a landline or a text uh, or, or a cell phone? Are you asking me that? Yes. Well, um, I use a I use a website. Um, I know people are probably wondering how do I know if it's phone a cell phone validator. <clears throat> phone validator dot com, and you can put a phone number in here. Click on I'm a robot. I'm not a robot, and click search. And so let like I'm just gonna put my home number in there. I'm not a robot, and it should come up and tell me it's a landline. So it's a landline, see? So if it was a cell phone, it would tell you it was a mobile. So that's how I know. I go there. It's phonevalidator.com. Okay, so um, let's see. I have a couple more questions. Deb says, do you have to update for each month? and release to campaign mailer and pay how does that work well see i go in it has just like this it has all my customers in what looks like a spreadsheet just like this like i'm not going to go in because they're my customers and that's confidential information but you know it'll say mary clark an address and richard huber an address and so they're all there and so i just go in and then at the top it says it says um Mail campaign 22B mailer. You get to choose which mailer you want. So, you you know, you'll know. And they remind you. You actually can sign up for reminders to get reminded of when when they're mailing the brochures based on the schedule you choose. And so you go in and you say, send this campaign to everybody. Next, click on pay. You pay. Boom, they're gone. That's how easy it is. I, I think if, if everybody – Goes into onlinebeautybiz.com and, and just types in campaign mailer. The 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 the, uh, the link that Lynn the, the blog post that Lynn wrote about it is there and has all this information in there that you need. Let me see if it, if it, um that, this, this is just really the go to place. If you have questions on anything, you're sitting there and and you know everything except for one question. You can type it into the to the search, and Lynn probably has written a blog post about it. Okay, so I don't have actually what the screen looks like, but I trust me, it is really easy. It takes two yeah. minutes. They keep your credit card on file, <laughs> so all you have to do is click on pay, and you pay. It's just that simple. So, um, do you have to update for each month and release to campaign mailer and pay? So, as far as the updates, Deb. Um, if you're talking about like the customers I'm dropping off and the ones I'm keeping, I do that at the beginning of every month. I go through and I just scan through the campaign mailer and see who ordered and who didn't. And I keep records on who ordered. So, you know, I have everybody's system is different, but I keep records. I have a, a contact manager and whenever I get an order, I make a comment in there so I know. And, um, and if, it's, if they're online customers, you can tell by going into your address book on your Avon.com to see when their last order was. And I delete them off. If if um, I'm taking them off, I delete them off. So the, the list that's on my the, um, the spreadsheet that almost looks like this, that's on my campaign mailer of all my customers is current as of the day I click on it. So I update it as I go throughout the month. So I hope that answers your question. Crayola, you're I, you're confused. I I'm sorry. I understand. You're you're also brand new, but what what are you confused about? Is there something I can help you with with that? Some of this is just a matter of getting in and doing it. Um, you can read this blog post for more information. Okay, you got it. Great, Deb. Thanks. She says great information. Okay, great. Thanks. So um, can can I can I say real quick? Everybody, when you start anything, you, you usually spend a certain amount of time. You probably spend um, several hours when you first start anything at a new job or anything else, learning how to do it. And then as you go along, as you have questions on things, you go in and you do little bite-sized pieces and learn more and more. Lynn does have a link on, on Online Beauty Biz right at the top where it says Getting Started. And that's probably the best place to go. Start there. And if you haven't done that, do that because that will give you all the information you need. Yeah, actually, and, and she sent out several emails to everybody about this, but right at the top. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, Crayola, that's what yeah. I would suggest for you is go yeah. to onlinebeautybiz.com 
and click on Getting Started at the top. And this is going to walk you through different ways, how you make money with Avon, um, the daily care collection, you're past that already, frequently asked questions, when do I pay for my orders, how do I get paid, all of this is in here. So this is stuff that's going to help you get started. I don't work on a computer. I only have my cell phone. Yeah. Um, Use your phone. I'm uh, one of the old people that um, <laughs> is more comfortable on a computer. <laughs> the, the, the writing's bigger. <laughs> I mean, I have a cell phone. I use it for a lot of things, but the truth <laughs> is I'm more comfortable on the computer. Yeah. And things look different on a cell phone. And, and I want to point out something, though, Crayola, um, because I, I, it's funny, this is the first time I haven't sh shown this, but you can go to Online Beauty Biz, you can search for whatever you need. There's a search right here, right on the right-hand side. But let me show you what it looks like on a cell phone. <clears throat> okay, so this is your cell phone, and you're looking at my blog post. Let's let's go home. So that you're logging, you go to OnlineBeautyBiz.com. So this is my blog. And if you scroll down, it's like the all of the first six or seven um, blog posts are there. Keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. And then it says sign up to be on our newsletter. You should already be on the newsletter if you're on my team and you are. And then search for. And so you can go into here and search for anything. So if you're on your cell phone, it's at the very bottom of the page, okay, where the search is. And you can search for anything that you um, – I'm not sure. You can also email me. You can also question, um, ask me questions. I would rather have a computer, but I can't afford mm -hmm. internet. Mm -hmm. I totally understand. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to yeah. do. So let's get you making some money so yeah. that you can have a computer. <laughs> let, let me just say again, the best thing to do is go to the getting started. This is just like if, I, I don't know how many of you, you know, you buy a new car and when you first get in it, you have to spend some time familiarizing where everything's at. Where do I put the key? Where's the radio? Where's this? Where's that? You know, you you, you want to be comfortable with it. And then pretty soon, it could be midnight, and you jump in your car, and you can drive that sucker anywhere because you know where everything's at. You're familiar with it. And that's the same thing with your business. You want to jump in, get on getting started, learn as much as you can on that, kind of get it familiar you know, understand what a process you're going to have to run your business. And then as you go along, you're going to come up with more and more questions, but you can go into this here and go into the search and find more things to fine tune your business. Yeah. So what I would like to say is look at some of this on this automating, as far as this being confusing, it's really simple. Um, it really is. Mm -hmm. Number one, you need to make sure every customer gets a brochure. Number two, you need to make sure a follow-up is done before you place your order. Whether you call them, text them, email them, send them a Facebook message, every customer that got a brochure, you need to follow up with to see if they got an order. Number three, you place your order with Avon, you collect, you get the products, you deliver to your customers, and you start all over again. That's really how simple this is. You give a brochure to a customer, you follow up, you take their order, and then you deliver their order. That's how simple it is. And as far as the follow-up, if you're wondering, why do I need to do a follow-up? Why do I need to place a call or a text to every single customer before I place an order? Because we're all busy. You are, right? Aren't you busy? I know I am. We're all busy, and we all have things coming at us from every direction these days. Our cell phone is dinging every second. You know, our kids are yelling. I mean, stuff is happening every minute. And we, we want something, a customer will look at your book, they might even mark the pages up. But then they didn't call you because it was the middle of the night or whatever, maybe they were in the bathroom looking at it, who knows, right? <laughs> and they didn't call you, and then they put the book down, and if you don't call them, eventually they're gonna pick up that book off the coffee table or wherever it is, and they're gonna throw it away. If you call them, you would be surprised at how many times they'll say, oh yes, I do, hold on, let me grab my book. I already marked up the pages. So it is critical. And just to tell you, back in the day when I lived in California, we're starting over here in, in Utah because we don't have customers here in Utah. Well, we do now. We're building. But but I moved to Utah, which is, you know, 850 miles away from California, so I can't deliver to those customers anymore. Some of them are online customers. But I'm starting over, so my business is smaller than it was then. But back then, we built up to where we had um, $6,000 in sales every two weeks, every campaign. 
$6,000. We actually sold at um, President's Council, which is $120,000 a year. So I had a lot of books I had to get out, and I had a lot of follow-ups I had to do. But back then, I had to place my order. Well, my order was due on Wednesday. We were on a signed order date. It was due on Wednesday. I wanted to get the order from my customers by Monday to make it so that I had time mm -hmm. to work it. And I, I started doing my follow-ups on Saturday and learned that that didn't really work. <laughs> Back then, people weren't on cell phones so much. It was, it was home phones. So I did a voice recording that went out. And what happens is, you know, you go, hello, you answer the phone and you go, hello, and the recording starts right away. Well, if it's a kid or a husband that answered the phone, by the time the mom gets to the phone, the recording's over and they didn't get it. So what I learned is if I do my message out on Friday morning and I just pick 10 a.m. because I figured that was a good time. Everybody's in school or at work. Yeah, the husbands <laughs> are at work and and the kids are at school most of the time. Um, the, the wife, the mom might even be at work. But if they're all gone out of the house, then it goes on their voicemail. So mm -hmm. they're still going to hear it. Or if the mom's home, then it's more likely she'll pick up the phone rather than a kid. So I would do that. So on Friday, when my message went out, I might have $600 in sales, $700, $800, something like that. Then I did my voice message that went out at 10 a.m. on Friday morning, and by Monday I was at $6,000 in sales. My customers loved it because they didn't have to talk to me. It wasn't like a hardcore pitch. It was just a reminder, and they go, oh, yeah, I need to order, or, oh, it's just Lynn. I don't need anything this time, and they just hang up the phone, and it's not a big deal. In fact, sometimes I had customers tell me that they didn't even listen to my message. They just heard it was me, and that's all they needed <laughs> to know that they needed to place their order or not, right? So um, the follow-up is critical. So all I'm doing here is I'm, you're, you're going to get a brochure out to everybody. You're going to give – if you're giving out brochures to new people, you want to get a name and number, and I'll come back to that because you want to follow up. So no matter who, everybody you gave a brochure to, you want to follow up with, and that's all this is. That's all this is is we're getting using a service to save us time to get and also to make sure we're consistent to make sure that a customer gets a brochure every single campaign and then we're doing these follow-ups and we're using services because again to make it consistent so it's not like well I didn't have time to get through all my follow-ups I only got 10 done this way they're all done in three minutes so it's it's being consistent it's doing it every single time and yeah Deb absolutely um, you're absolutely right. The follow-up dollars is crucial. If you don't follow up, you're leaving all that money on the table. Actually, if you don't follow up, you're giving it to me because I'm going to be following up. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for saying that, Deb. You're absolutely right. But it's critical. So um, I, let me find I have – if you go to the search and you search for drawing slips – Using drawing slips for prospecting. This is talking about, this post is actually talking about if you were to do a contest where you could go to a nail salon or a, or a laundry, mm -hmm. dry cleaners, or you know, a hair salon, and you could put a, a drawing box on their counter, get permission, put a drawing box on their counter, and have people enter to win. That's what this post is about. But you, I use these drawing slips every single day, and you can click here. And you can download these drawing slips. Now, they're four to a page, so you can just print them off. But look at this. So when I'm out and about, I'm standing in front of a grocery store, I'm in a grocery store or wherever, I keep these drawing slips with me, with my brochures. And um, I, while I start talking to somebody, the cashier at the, at the register, um, the, a lady in the aisle in the grocery store, whatever. I start talking to somebody, and I say, hey, have you seen the latest Avon brochure? And I hand them a brochure. And if they take it, I say, I mail my brochures. Would you like to get on my mailing list? And you know what? If they, if you're being honest with them and you're just being straightforward, you're not like, you know, saying, oh, you're going to have a chance to win or whatever, because they know. I, I think a lot of times they know that maybe there's no chance they're going to win and they don't want to enter, Right. But I'm just saying, hey, I mail my brochures. Would you like to get on my mailing list? That's how we make sure we everybody gets a brochure every campaign. And if they love Avon, they're going to say yes. I really get very few people that say no. But if they say, then they say yes. They hand them this form. They fill it out. 
But here's these, there's three questions here. I already have an Avon representative. That's important because if they do, I don't want to mail them brochures. They can get it from their representative, right? <laughs> I would like to receive Avon brochures on a regular basis, yes or no. And I would like to learn more about earning money with Avon. See that? That's right there. It's in the middle of the, it's for them, for them to look at. And as they're answering it, if you're watching them when they're filling it out and they're like looking at that, they're reading it and they're thinking about it, you might say, hey, have you ever thought about making extra money with Avon? You know, Avon reps are earning, uh, these days are earning $1,000 in their first 90 days. Or how would you like to get your Christmas paid for and, and get your products at a 40% discount over the holidays? Because a new rep gets 40% their first 90 days. So... So you can get start a conversation going, but even if you don't, they checked yes or no on it. So that gives you that. And then you take this brochure, you go home, you add them to campaign mailer, you find out if it's a cell phone or a text, a cell phone or a home phone, and you add them to your either your voice messages or your text messages. And, um, and then I add them to my email list. You can, if you don't have an email list, which I'm sure most of you don't, you can go on your Avon.com and add them as a customer to your Avon.com and then that way Avon will email them. So how cool is that? I mean, it's now they're on your system. They're, they're just on your system. They filled out this form and they're on your system. They're gonna get a brochure every campaign. They're gonna get a follow-up reminder every campaign and they're gonna get emails from Avon. And so then you keep giving them brochures and if you met them in a store and three months goes by and they haven't placed an order and you've done your follow-ups and everything, then I drop them off. Then I just go into campaign mailer and I delete them. So it's really pretty simple. And it's just doing that consistently. And when, by doing it consistently, that's how you build business. And how big you want to build your business depends on how many brochures you buy and how many brochures you give out and how many follow-ups you do. And that's probably a topic for another day. But um, we actually, we did a call on that. We actually did a Facebook Live on that recently about how many brochures you need to buy if you want to make big bucks with Avon. And when you're making, you know, when you're selling 3000 a campaign, just on your sales alone, you're making good money. Trust me. I was making 50% based on the size of my orders. I was making 50% um, on the regular items and 25% on the fixed earnings items. Plus, I was I had my leadership checks, and so I was making really good money. And right now, I'm missing that because I'm having to start over because I moved. I mean, our business. What's so cool is our business can go with us when we move. Um, my leadership business is, is there; it's still going with me. Um, and a lot of my customers order online, but there's a lot of little old ladies that want that personal service. And so, you know, I gave them to reps that I had in California that took over our business for us. So, is there anything you want to add to that? Um, I just just want to keep keep saying I, I we 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 sound really repetitious on this, but really the the ideas we have here are really low cost items that really get your business going. The fact that you need you need to order brochures, you need labels on the brochures that will start a conversation or have the customer wait that they can call or contact you, email you. Uh, you need you need these drawing slips so you can get their information so you can follow up. It'd be the same as if you opened up a pizza place. And you didn't you didn't buy a register, and somebody walked in, they wanted to order, and I say, well, I don't have any way to order, you know. And then you they, you you finally figure out a way to to get their order, and you try to make their stuff, and you find out somebody didn't order the cheese, and then and then you you scramble up some cheese, and you get the pizza made. Then you don't have plates to put the order on. It's just little things that that to us are low cost. A lot of these things seem like they may be expensive, but they're not. The uh, the getting the, the books in their hand. If at first you can't afford campaign mailer, that's fine. And if all your customers are within driving distance, you can do that. We did that initially too. You can you can spend an hour, two hours or whatever every two weeks getting the brochures out to the people, but make sure they get a brochure every campaign. So you know you have to follow your budget, but these are low cost ways that, that get your business going and they're automating uh, or they're creating a system so that you create conversations with people. And most of you, I'm sure, are wearing either an Avon shirt when you go out or you're wearing some kind of Avon jewelry, you know, Avon blouse, some kind of Avon shoes, whatever it is, so that you prompt a conversation. Yeah. And, and so like Richard said, you know, <clears throat> to build your business, it's going to take effort. 
either effort or money or both. It's actually really going to take both. But if you don't have the money to spend, then the effort can make up for it. Yes. You can, you know, you can, if you don't have the money to do the follow-up texts or calls, then you can do it with your effort. You can do it. You can do them yourself. There's no reason mm -hmm. you can't. But um, it's going to take you hours if you have a lot to do. You know, you need to know that going in. And I just want to mention on those texts, the texts, I can't say text, text <laughs> plural. <laughs> when you're texting your your reminders, it's if you use this service, it's like four cents a text, I think. And um, that means if you're doing sending a hundred texts, it's only a dollar. I mean, ten, no, four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> can't get it right. If you're sending a hundred texts, it's only four dollars. If you're sending four hundred texts, which which back that back when I was doing it, um, when I got you know from those from the eight hundred dollars a campaign to to six thousand, I was probably doing about four hundred brochures um, that actually were going to my customers. I, I actually bought a lot more brochures than that, but they were given out all over the place, and I, I had all different ways of doing it. But if you send four hundred texts, it's still only sixteen dollars. We're not talking about a lot of money. Um, this this service that um, I talked about, the text magic. Well, actually, it's the um, other one, the um, Dial My Calls. They have a service. They have, they want they they have an option where you can sign up and pay so much a month. I don't remember what it is, but it's it's to me wasn't worth it. I figured out I put a pencil mm -hmm. to it, and it I could pay less by paying four cents a text than I could by by doing the monthly fee. Now, if it ever got to the point where I was sending a lot of texts every month, maybe it would be worth more. But right now I'm doing about 150, something like that per campaign. And so it's not costing me that much. So Deb, thanks for all your practical advice. I appreciate it. Thank you, Deb. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yes. And I appreciate you being here. So if there's not any more questions, then we'll just call it a night for tonight. Um, let me just check really quick and see if there's anything <clears throat> else. Yeah, I think we got all the questions answered. So um, I want to thank you guys all for being with us on Sunday. I know you have other things you can be doing with your time. And so I hope that we make it worthwhile. I hope we give you information that's helpful. But I, I'm just, I'm not a lot of fluff. I just believe in using systems, doing things to help you grow your business and there's no reason to try to do a bunch of other stuff, mm -hmm. right? Just do what works. Just so learn, Lily, learn a little bit every bit, every Lily, day. Thanks for sharing. Thank oh, you. Oh, that was Sher Sherry. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and Lily says, thanks for sharing. Thank you guys. Thanks for being here. And we will see you next Sunday. Same time, mm -hmm. same place. Let me, let me go here. So now, okay. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a great evening and an awesome week. coming Yes. Up. Have a great week. And we'll see you next Sunday. Mm -hmm. Take Tracy, care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good night.